Hi there, welcome back. Today we are in Lanigan, Saskatchewan, and we're going to check out the community gift and thrift. And the prices here are really inexpensive, so hopefully there's some good treasures in there for us. So let's go on in and check it out. So I grabbed a cute little shopping cart, and Wendell just brought this paint by numbers over for me, and it is one dollar and this really cute brass bell for a dollar. And check out this really nice vintage shelf with full of vintage items. And how fun are these handles made out of forks? That is really neat. And these are really fun vintage shot glasses. I'm not sure of the price of them. I don't see a price anywhere. But I'm sure they can't be too much. I'm going to find out how much they want for these and I'm probably going to grab a few of those. It's a beautiful horse figurine for a dollar. So I'm going to grab that. I love this print. Three dollars for this. It's beautiful. And look at these fun little glasses, little mugs, butterflies on them. They are so fun. They're a dollar each. And there's three of these, so I'm going to grab these three. for this piece. It's pretty. I can't remember the name of this, but it's a beautiful piece. But I think I'm going to pass for $10. It's a really fun glass. Piglet. and the honey tree. Let me grab that one. So I think I'm gonna grab these three shot glasses. The other ones are fun, but I like these three Canadian ones. I guess they're not really shot glasses, they're a little bit more than a shot. <laughs> they are four ounces. What is under here? Oh, that is fun. Two dollars. It's kind of a little bit beat up, but for two bucks, I'm going to grab it anyways. I'll use it for something. Love that mod pattern. These are fun tins as well. Some books. And a very old hair dryer. <laughs> Here's 
here's some art. And this looks like some original paintings done by Faye. Nice job. Here's some little wind chimes. These are really cute. Three dollars for this set, I believe. Yes. That is really cute. I don't know how old it is. It doesn't seem to be too old, but it's really cute. And there's a really nice painting up there. I'm going to get it down and have a closer look. Looks like an original piece. So I believe this is definitely an original piece. There is a signature right in here. It's really hard to make out, but there's definitely some a signature and possibly a date. It's a really nice piece. And it's three dollars, so that is a no-brainer. Is Corningware made in China? Here is a piece of Tonala Ja Mexico. It's five dollars. It's got a nice bird on it and it is signed, but I'm going to think about that piece. It's pretty large. Fine quality, exquisite deluxe china. Those are really cute. I don't do mornings until I've had my coffee. That is me. 100%. And here's some salt and peppers, and they are a dollar per, per set. That guy's pretty cute. He's just a single, and he's missing his stopper. Who is that? <laughs> Who are those people? Germany. A royal German couple? I'm not sure. All right, here we have a shelf of a little bit of everything. Candle holders, baskets, bells, trinkets. Too bad, that one's broken. Those some nice baskets. There's a little souvenir piece, a little trinket. From Mexico. I like the design on it. I think it's from Mazatlan. Well, that's fun, and I have one of these. I think I need another one, a matching one. Well, I think the one I have is a Christmas one. These are so fun, so tacky. It's 50 cents, so I'm gonna grab it. I like this tacky 1950s, 60s. Somebody painted that, possibly? I'm not sure. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. A worm coming out of the apple. That's a nice little marble trinket dish. I'm gonna grab that for a dollar. It's a couple brass candlesticks. This one has a dent in it though. They're only a dollar, but with that dent, I think I'll pass on them. Well, that's an interesting basket. That looks like it is made out of newspaper. Is that newspaper or magazines or something? I'm not sure. <laughs> That is really different. I have never seen that before. I think I'm going to grab it just because it's so unique and I've never seen a basket made out of, I don't know, newspaper or magazines. It looks like it's, um, yeah, it looks like newspaper. So I'm going to grab that for two bucks. I also spotted this wooden candle stick holder. It's got something stuck in there, but I'm sure I can get that out. It's 50 cents. I'm gonna grab that. And it's also a little pottery votive holder looks like kind of like a tanala piece i'm not sure there's no marks on it and i'm gonna grab it for a dollar candlestick holder I just spotted this really nice scarf and it is 100% acrylic made in Italy it is vintage and they are asking a dollar so I'm gonna grab this nice warm scarf this one's made in Canada I think I'll leave that one though. All right, I'm going to go check out the linens. Not too much for linens in this section here. Oh, my goodness. Look at this kitty latch hook. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, my goodness, look at that. You can have this tail and everything. Oh, that's just really kitschy. Three dollars. I will grab him. And there's also this really nice, very large macrame for five dollars. This one's really long. Really well made. over here those are some vintage hankies what is this just a little doily another doily There's a little bit of a stain on that one Doilies. 
What is this? I'm interested. <laughs> Looks a little wild, but I just want to check it out and see what it is. I am not sure what those are. Pretty wild though. I am going to grab some of these because you can never have enough dishcloths, can you? Rags. Those are really nice quality. We are heading out to our country home and I know we do not have enough of these out there. So I'm going to grab these for a dollar each. I also found this really bright vintage towel. It is a Wasabo 100% cotton made in Canada. This looks like probably in the 1980s or 90s. I'm thinking 1980s. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab that. And I do not see any other linens that I'm interested in here. They don't have any Afghans that I'm interested in. Not really my my colors or style. So I'm gonna go check out another area. Hey, there's a little bit of Christmas over here. That's a cute wall hanging. Love the Santa on it. It's definitely vintage. And it is 50 cents, so I'll take that. These are kind of fun. Oh, oh, boho decorations. <laughs> but there's only two. And I have to buy the whole bag, so I'll leave those. I'm not sure what these are for. They have holes in the top of their head. <laughs> sure he's got a little bit of a dirty face but these are my favorite angels with the 1950s bouffant hairdo and she's only 50 cents so I'm gonna grab her add her to my collection of angels And Wendell found another Kenny and Dolly Once Upon a Christmas. We already have this one, but he's grabbing another one. All right, I found the vases. These are vintage. Gold is a little bit worn on them though. Pretty color for Christmas though. And here is a cloisonne and brass vase. Screaming 1980s to me. So I will grab it for three bucks. $37.50 in there and got a whole box of really great vintage items. I can't believe how much I got for $37.50 and I didn't realize that yellow tags were 50% off and I had a lot of yellow tags. So that's great. So that was everything for today. Thanks for joining me. If you're new, feel free to subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload new videos and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.